Hello and welcome to the session on the V5 Robot Inertial Sensor. My name is Ralph from Steam Labs. You can head over to our website and find a little bit more about what we do at Steam Labs and you can find out a little bit more information about our online and virtual V5 and IQ VEX Robotics coaching programs. Now in today's video I'm going to demonstrate how you can get the VEX V5 robot to balance itself on the platform. Now what we want here is I'm going to head over to my Jamboard and I'm just going to draw a couple of very very simple images. So if this is the middle of the ramp and if the robot is balanced on the ramp, this would mean that the ramp looks something like this. Now, as soon as you get the robot to drive onto the ramp, so if it goes on this section here, this means that the ramp is no longer going to be balanced. And what you need to do is you need to write a program which probably uses an inertial sensor and get the robot to autocorrect itself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over to the video of how this works and then I'll come back to the Python program and explain how we have coded first. Okay, so we have our robot on the platform. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tip our platform forwards and you'll be able to see that the robot auto-corrects itself. Robot has now driven backwards and continued to drive into the middle of the platform until it's in the correct range of values. Platform is now going to tip backwards and robot will drive forwards and it will continue to auto-correct itself using the inertial sensor. Hopefully from the last video which I was just showing you, you can see how the robot can now correct itself when it is on the tipping point platform and I'm going to explain how this works in Python. So, what we have is we have three events which have been set up at the beginning of our program. Once one of these events is true, it is then going to execute piece of code which is underneath this event here. Now I'm using the uh, printer console in the program because this allows us to track the data when the program is being run for the autonomous part of the competition. Now when the robot is too far forward on the ramp, meaning that the back of the ramp is tipping up, what we want the robot to do is reverse. And when it reverses we want it to reverse and then start once the platform has obviously balanced itself out again. So what we're doing here is we're using the pitch part of the inertial sensor. And what we're saying here is, if the inertial sensor orientation pitch in degrees is less than negative three, or if it is equal to negative three, what we want the robot to do is drive in reverse. And then going down in the program, so on event balanced, what we've done is we've set a range of different numbers here. And apologies if you can hear my daughter screaming in the background. Uh, so if a value is less than two, meaning one, zero, or negative one, and if it's greater than negative two, this allows for three different values here, the robot is going to stop. And then going down as well, on event forward, what we want the robot to do is drive forward if the ramp is in now the reverse position. So if I go over to my Jamboard over here, if a robot is in this position here, which would be balanced, we want the robot to stop. If the ramp tips in this direction here, you're going to want the robot, which is this triangle, you're going to want it to drive forward so it can balance itself out. And then lastly, if the robot drives too far forward, you're going to want it to reverse until, again, the platform is balanced. Now, I'm going to go back over to my Python program. I don't want to explain everything which is in this program because most of it is pretty basic. If you have any questions, obviously, do let me know. I'm going to scroll through the program so you can see my code. This is a program which we've just started working on. This does work, but I'm sure my teams are going to be making lots of changes moving forward. Hopefully this is helpful and you do now have a basic understanding of how you can create a program using the VEX V5 inertial sensor, using pitch, so the robot can auto-correct itself. Now, as I said, any questions, leave them underneath the video. Do subscribe to our channel and keep an eye on different videos we're posting this season on the V5 and also IQ sensors. And I look forward to seeing you in our next video soon.